Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm Lee. I'm Bing. I'm Francesca. I'm Emma. We are here today to propose the idea for our company to venture into the world of social media. Based on statistic data, it shows that 25% of the world's top 20 largest brands are linked to user-generated content. 34% of bloggers can take advantage to post their opinion about their products and brands. At the same time, anyone will be able to view and take on board their feedback. As 78% of consumers trust their peer recommendations, we need to ensure that these recommendations are positive. Customers will no longer search for products and services as they will find us via social media. Also, 96% of under 30s have joined a social networking site. To support what we said, we can for our, for our research that we report about the uh, online media on different age group of people. We can see, uh, we can see the, uh, the online media has already caused all age, all age group people attention, and um, young people are more are more influenced by the online media, which is beneficial to our target marketing of young and teenager. TV. Currently, our only medium of advertising is TV. TV is cultural glue and people love talking about it. It's the third most talked about subject after the cost of living and family and friends in the UK. Our obsession with television demonstrates its cultural importance. From our research, we can see 64% in our sample are channel flicker, and 11 in total 15 people are enjoying watching TV and going online at the same time. It means the state of TV advertisement is, is challenged by the uh, rise of online media, and uh, more and more people are increasingly focusing more on the online advertisement compared with the traditional TV advertisement. Facebook is the most commonly used social media among our clients, which gives us a great opportunity to advertise, while Twitter's platform for sharing, retweeting and commenting creates the highest number of archived records. This can help us to build our brand awareness. The increasing use of platforms such as YouTube means that we can keep up with changes in society, otherwise we run the risk of being left behind and deemed obsolete. Social media can help us to maintain our competitive advantage and transform our corporate image away from the perceived hard masculine image of a corporation into a softer business that cares more about its consumer, which is more in line with our values. Um, an external benefit of social media is that it allows us to see what we're doing right as well as what we're doing wrong. After all, no one phones up customer services to tell them what they've done right. Social media is becoming the word of mouth. Um, it allows for continuous feedback which will help us to improve our products. This will enable us to give the customers the products and services they desire. But it does come along with internal risks. We run the risk of people spending time gossiping on social media rather than doing their work. 233 million hours are wasted on Facebook alone at work. Time saving and efficiency can be replaced by people becoming faceless in the organisation and time wasting. So where do we go from here? Multimedia campaigns are the most effective, and putting TV at the heart of an integrated campaign will make every other medium work better. TV establishes key elements of the brand in a rich media context, which creates an emotional connection between brand and viewer. This then frees up other media to create a more powerful dialogue or provide a greater depth of information. The opportunities for social media today are extremely exciting, offering our business the possibility to reach customers in ways that are highly targeted and highly effective. Jumping on the social media bandwagon not only shows we remain relevant in a technology-led society, but it also provides a budget-friendly alternative to traditional methods of advertising. I suggest the most effective marketing strategy we should adopt is the use of TV adverts alongside social media. We need to take the time to update our statuses and tweet about any new products or business activities. Taking the time to reply and build relationships with correspondents will encourage them to visit the page again. Social media is ever-changing as it's still in its early stages. There is very little to lose and very much to gain by getting involved. This may be a survival requirement in the future. The introduction of Web 3.0 will increase the scope for advertising on social media as it makes the process of obtaining information easier and more personalised. With each passing day, there is an increased need to have a presence on social media. However, as technologies improve, we need to put more stringent controls in place. Thank you for listening.